This week, let us examine the scary topic of the pending Ottawinian apocalypse. Unlike the Ottawinian Iditarod, this is truly a bone-chilling experience. Am I doing this in a Zorro costume for the locals because Zorro was created here in Ottawa, Illinois? Well, it's either that or I'm covering up for the virus. You be the judge. Since I'm in the middle of three generations currently living in the 61350, I'm going to personally provide you with my usual opening monologue here before handing this off to uh, Ed, the father of CapTech, to announce the 6.1350 reasons for our most assuredly imminent demise. First, a disclaimer. If you are not from the Ottawa area um, and you're thinking of visiting or vacationing here, or better yet, if you're thinking of opening a business here, particularly a Hooters, please do not watch this video. Um, alternatively, CapTech encourages you to watch our video aimed at enhancing our local tourism revenue. Now back to our feature presentation. Many conspiracy theories about the Ottawa area exist. Maybe the local beer club from one of our premier drinking establishments is really some sort of cult. Um, rumors persist that our middle school applies special focus on teaching Ottawa youth how to be hostile. Maybe our Christ is a myth signs in uh, Washington Park have drawn the ire of the good Lord. I, I don't know. But the curse of the Illinois Valley predates all of these things. After all, historically, we have accumulated some rather dubious accomplishments, including Radium Dial, that other radium place just like Radium Dial, uh, various Superfund sites, uh, Starved Rock, Lover's Leap, the Starved Rock Murders, several other very scary cold cases that I've uh, covered in uh, previous CapTech documentaries. I mean, do you guys realize there's now a guy in front of our local movie theater and he keeps staring at me whenever I drive by? And it appears to me from the look in his eyes that he knows the end is near. Now, it's my pleasure to hand this off to uh, my older, wiser, uh, and at times even crankier uh, father. So welcome, uh, Dad, to the show, and uh, we'll hand it off to you. All right, fine, son. Here's the top 6.135 ways Otto, Illinois will most assuredly meet its untimely demise in uh, no particular order. Some of these may scare all of you more than others, but I implore you to watch the entire list. And if you care enough about this stupid list that my son's making me read, please comment with uh, whichever one, you know, frightens you the most here. All right, starting the list. Now, this one's only worth exactly 0 0.1350. Um, not a full, uh, you know, member of a frightening list, you know? Um, I know it's stupid, and that's why we uh, only count the zombie apocalypse as 0.135 reasons for Ottawa's imminent demise. Next, the first of our other six reasons are the dang floods. You ever notice that we have a 100-year flood every 10 years? How does that make any sense? Next is the damn wind. Is this the grapes of wrath around here? That was the dust bowl. Does that make us the corn bowl? That recent tornadoes, windstorm, knock my damn tree down, and then that wind uh, last Tuesday, Jiminy Christmas. Next, the COVID cases. Have you noticed that we're fifth in the nation and that the areas around us are also on this list? Next, obviously if we break out in an American Civil War, with Chicago being uh, very liberal and uh, the rest of the state being very conservative, Ottawa could find itself on the uh, front lines. Next, we are a nuclear target. Um, if you uh, look at this uh, graphic here. And then uh, the last item uh, is uh, nuclear waste. Look at how much they store, like, right around us. Anyway, sure we're all glad that list is over. Uh, now on over to Little Austin to tie this one down. Thanks for watching this video. And even to our latest subscribers. Our upcoming videos are going to be Deep Guys on the Mandela Effect and the Simi Lushin Hypocrisies. So please like, share, comment, and subscribe to CapTap.